You know, we've, we have winter weather advisories in effect for the northern mountains of Utah. This will be in effect for now through later today. Tonight, tomorrow, and the next couple of days, freeze warnings. And that also includes the Uinta Basin. So, folks, it's... <clears throat> It's getting colder, not so bad in southern Utah. The cold front hasn't arrived yet, but it will, and temperatures will drop. Uh, Salt Lake City, though, the rain is falling, and the temperatures dropped to 46. Now, snow levels across northern Utah are down to around 5,500 feet, but here along the Salt Lake City Wasatch Front uh, area, it's uh, more like 6,500 feet. So we're getting snow at Lambs Canyon over Parley Summit. Uh, I've, re I've seen reports now of about one to two inches up in the Cottonwood Canyons at Collins. That's one of the reporting stations at Alta. We've seen a couple of inches um, at the US 89 Logan Summit. But uh, no snow expected in the valley with this storm, but it will be turning very cold behind it. Here's the upper low as it moves by. So partial clearing later this afternoon, brief showers ending this evening, turning colder overnight, but there's another disturbance out here. It swings around the bottom and it actually comes underneath Salt Lake City. So that leaves us with a chance for showers on Saturday from near St. George all the way over to Moab, Arches, Canyonlands, and uh, the La Salles with heavy snow in the Colorado Rockies. It may be cold enough for a little snow in the northern mountains and uh, south and southwest of the Great Salt Lake. It's cold enough for some lake effect snow showers Saturday evening into Sunday morning. But after that, it's just a ridge of high pressure building in and some really nice days. 48 degrees for the, the maximum temperature today. Most of the day when it's raining, it'll stay in the mid 40s, even drop to the low 40s. And then when the rain tapers off later this afternoon, temperatures may rise just a little bit. Okay, highs of 39 in Park City, 40, well, it, right now it's 37 in Logan. So we've reached our high and we've dropped and highs will be around 71 in St. George. All right, that's your high tomorrow. 70 turns cooler Saturday with that next disturbance coming in primarily across southern Utah. In fact, on Sunday, the high 59 with lows in the 30s in St. George. Monday, 63, Tuesday, 66, and Wednesday, 67. Now, periods of rain today. Watch out for the hydroplaning along the Wasatch Front. The, the rain is falling heavy enough that in cases where you come into that heavy rain, you could uh, easily slip on the water and crash. We need to see uh, slower road conditions. We just slow down and uh, just take it easy out there. This rain will head heavier into Utah County here shortly and then turn more showery this afternoon. Later tonight, partial clearing with a low of 32. Freeze warning in effect with 50 tomorrow. 49 on Saturday, just cold enough for a few showers over the mountains. Might be a rain or snow shower in the valleys, again, especially south southwest of the Great Salt Lake. After that, the ridge of high pressure dominates the weather pattern. Although it doesn't warm up much, we're into the time of the year where we can continue to see the possibility of valley inversions. Now that typically happens when we're in, um, in the lower sun angle. Now, as we get into November, valley inversions become a little bit more of a problem. So 45 degrees for your high Sunday, Monday 48, and look at those low temperatures at 28 and 29. So you might wanna get your hoses, bring them in, turn your, if you haven't turned your sprinklers off, turn them off, get them uh, ready for the winter, 51 degrees on Tuesday, but again, those lows at night still staying from 30 to 32 degrees with Wednesday's high temperature at 54. So we start to warm up a little bit towards the end of the week. I think you can say goodbye to the 60s and 70s. We'll probably get back up into the 60s, but will we get into the 70s as we head into November? Probably not. Now, one thing you can see there is Tuesday's Halloween forecast. How about that? 51 for a high. Halloween temperatures are going to be in the 40s for trick-or-treaters. 40s, that means you'll want to plan on bundling the kids up. Make sure that the kids are ready and they have uh, the lighting that you need. Make sure they have some flashlights with them. And of course, uh, 40s for temperatures isn't too bad and no precipitation is expected on Tuesday as well. So again, 48 today with those showers, possible heavy at times this morning. And we've seen quite a bit of rain in Logan. In fact, one and a half inches has fallen at uh, Sherwood Hills. That's a lot of precipitation. Let's look at the weather forecast.